Are you feeling guilty or ashamed over an ex or a former relationship? Do you know the difference between guilt and shame? I'm Patrick Wannis, human behavior and relationship expert, PhD. Guilt is the uncomfortable or painful feeling based on an evaluation or a judgment that you've done something wrong or you've done something bad. Most people tend to think of guilt as a negative emotion, and that's not true. Guilt can be positive because it can act as our conscience. It can act as a mirror to remind us and let us know when we're doing something wrong or doing something bad. If we had no guilt and no conscience, what would we do? We'd end up doing a lot of bad things regardless of our so-called morals. So when is guilt a negative emotion? Guilt can be negative if we choose to carry it around for a long time and not do anything about it. Think of it this way. What happens to a person when they go to a court of law and they're found guilty? They're punished. So if you choose to carry around guilt and not do anything about it, you'll end up sabotaging your life. Why? Because you'll carry around a subconscious feeling that says, I'm doing something bad, therefore I deserve to be punished. So how can you respond to guilt? Number one, choose to learn from the mistake. Number two, make amends or reparations if it involves someone else. Number three, choose to forgive yourself. It's okay to be human. It's okay to make mistakes because we're all imperfect and we all make mistakes. Forgive yourself for being human. Now, the other important point about guilt is that guilt's based on a behavior. That means I believe I've done something bad. That's based on an action. So guilt is focused outward. Now, the difference between guilt and shame is that shame's focused inward. Shame isn't based necessarily on a behavior. If guilt is the belief I've done something bad or done something wrong, Shame is the painful or uncomfortable feeling based on an evaluation or a judgment that you are wrong or you are bad. Can you see the difference? Huge difference if we separate the behavior from the person. So if you're carrying around shame, then you actually believe that you're a bad person, not that you've just done something bad, but that your core essence is bad. Now, what's wrong with that? We respond to shame in a very drastic and dramatic way. Number one, we choose to hide. We isolate ourselves and we put a mask over ourselves. We never reveal our true self because we're afraid of being further condemned, criticized, judged, or, or even criticized or abused. So the problem with shame is that it disconnects us from people. And therefore, we refuse to be vulnerable. You can't have a real relationship if you're not going to be vulnerable. The greatest moments of joy and ecstasy in life come from when we make connections with other people and when we choose to open up not just our heart, but all of us to actually be intimate and vulnerable. So what can you do about shame? Number one, be willing to share that shame. Shame is very interesting because it's sort of like exposing it to sunlight. When you share it with someone else, you reduce it by about 50%. Because when you start to share your shame with someone else, you'll realize that we're all the same. And many of us have that same faulty belief. I actually teach that the one core issue that's common to everyone is the belief there's something wrong, there's something bad, I'm not good enough. Do you believe that? Do you believe there's something wrong with you, something bad? Do you believe you're missing or lacking something? That's common to everyone. So step number one is to actually expose the shame to sunlight, stop hiding it. Shame is a little more difficult to change or to neutralize or overcome than guilt because it's often a subconscious belief that we've taken on since childhood. So I actually have a process to help you to overcome shame. In fact, a lot of people think about the antidote to shame and it's not empathy, it's not pride, it's not humility. It's actually something else. And because it affects people so much, I've created a new audio book called Get Over Your Ex Now and I've devoted three chapters to the issue and the subject of shame. Number one, understanding shame at a deeper level. What is shame? What's the difference between guilt? Number two, what's the antidote to shame? And then number three, I share with you a specific process, step by step, to overcome and neutralize shame. And it's really true. Once you let go of the guilt and the shame and you forgive yourself and you believe that you're worthy and you're good enough and you're special and you're lovable, then you'll have all the things you want in life, you'll hold on to them, you'll enjoy them, and you'll create even a better life. So, if you want to overcome and neutralize shame, go to my website, patrickwanos.com, and get over your ex now.